Hey there guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Axel, and I am still on that Sonic fever. I just finished Sonic Origins, and now I want to play some more Sonic stuff, so... Why not Sonic Generations? It's a pretty good game, has some classic Sonic still, and Modern Sonic, which is my preferred Sonic. And yeah, let's start. Here we are, in Green Hill Zone. Uh, is there anything in the back? Nope, nothing. God, it's been so long since I played this game. Oh, okay, you know what? My first mistake was thinking that this classic Sonic had the drop dash. I just tried to do it. I remember as a kid, I tried to beat the stage as fast as I can. Because when Sonic Generations was a new thing, it was like a brand new game, I couldn't get it. Because I didn't buy my own games as a kid, so basically, I would play the demo for Sonic Generations, which is basically Green Hill Zone, Act 1 and 2. So it was classic Sonic and modern Sonic level. And that's pretty much the whole demo. So basically, I played both acts as fast as I can as both Sonic. Like, oh, maybe I can get a faster time this time. And well, as you know, when I got the full game, I pretty much was really fast because I've already prepared myself for a long time. I remember a long time ago when this was first revealed, um, a friend of mine showed me a trailer of it on his Wii or something. I remember he was like in the Wii or in some game and it showed like a teaser for Sonic Generation showing both classic and then modern Sonic running together side by side and I thought like wow that looks amazing. I knew classic Sonic at the time and modern Sonic was my favorite so I thought it looked really cool seeing them both side to side. Also there's a very specific reason why I'm playing this. There's no shade, no shade at all. But I saw that the Game Grumps have started playing this and uh, let's just say for a man that's in his 30s, he can't play a kid's game. I don't know, I just thought it's kind of weird. Like this game is made for children. I consider it one of the easiest Sonic games ever made. And this grown man on YouTube just can't play it. Party or something? Surprise! Ah, oh, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. I like it! I love it!
All right, so here we go. We're going to start uh, Green Hill Zone Act 2. So that's a modern Sonic level. So I'm going to do this as a traditional Let's Play. Uh, the way this game works is that you basically do a set of three levels, two acts each, and then you have to do like three separate challenges to unlock a key to unlock the boss fight that unlocks the next section of the game. So I'll just... I'll, I'll lock the boss fight, I'll beat him, and then I'll end the video there. And then I'll just do that for the other consecutive parts of this game. Because this game is pretty short if you've already played it. And if you know what you're doing. Like, it's kind of hard for me to concentrate. And, um, you know, like, talk and play at the same time. So let me just, just you know, play freely. And I'm totally mess that up somehow. Um, I'm no means a pro Sonic Generations. There's definitely a lot of other better players than me. Like, you know, better speedrunners. I'm not trying to speedrun anything. It's just that I'm trying to do my best, you know. Again, it's like one of the easier Sonic games. It's not like Sonic Adventure where, you know, you don't have to be just fast. Whoa, what the hell happened there? That was weird. But yeah, this is a really fun game. I loved this game when I was a kid. This game was what really made me like Sonic because it revisits its past as classic and then the modern Sonic also revisits in a sort of way. Also the boss fights are my favorite parts too. Oh. By the way, again, I don't want to rag on Eren or anything like that from Game Grumps. It's just that uh, my 12-year-old self had a better first playthrough than Eren has, and it makes sense why he's not playing the best as he can because he's running a you know a entertainment channel on YouTube. It's not mostly about gaming; that's just part of it. But you know, it's really about him and the co-host is just you know making jokes and stuff. So eh, it's whatever. I just you know watching the watching Eren play just made me think like. I really want to replay this game to know how well it really well is played. I don't know if that makes any sense. There's probably other people that like feel the same way. We're like, oh man, Aaron, he doesn't know how to do this, doesn't know how to do that. And apparently that's normal. I'm not an avid Game Grumps watcher. I just know about them and of them. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Is it me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. No stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. I was wondering where Classic Sonic came from, because there's nothing over there. It's just a white void. Unless maybe he just woke up too. You can now switch between the two Sonics. Press Y to switch Sonics and use both to explore the world. Right, another thing that bothered me about Eren's playthrough is that the way he just plays is kind of weird, because he doesn't do both acts. He just does one act and then moves on to the next area. Like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to read instructions like, oh, okay, play the first act. Like this. Play act one and then act two. All right, but that's enough, you know, talking about Game Grumps. Let's just enjoy this game. Now, Chemical Plan, this is pretty cool. Like, pretty much every remade level in this game is so faithful to the original. I 
I just love how fast Classic Sonic is with his spitting ball. Oh shoot. Am I going backwards? Hold on. I think I might have gone backwards. Actually, I really don't remember this route. I usually have a specific route when I play this game and I don't remember what this is. Okay, I guess I'll go this way. Whoa. Oh shit, I was supposed to jump there. I was trying to, but the button didn't work. And now I'm supposed to go in the water now. Because of my dumb mistakes. Hey, but at least it's over now. See, isn't that way more fun? Watching high octane action. Well, it was barely the action. I just I just sped past through the levels. I would have honestly preferred it if you can start Act Two immediately after Act One as a choice. So you don't have to wait for this cutscene to happen and then have to switch manually to the next act. Oh, I got three red star rings without even trying. I'm a little biased, but I liked all the modern Sonic iterations of these levels. They're like the best. Even though they're just boost gameplay, quote unquote. And a lot of people don't really like them, but I do. I think they're cool. Oh, almost died there. I always love these quick set parts when you have to go really fast, side to side. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on. There we go. Oh no! What? How did that hurt me? That's weird. See, I'm already messing up. It's the second level too. But they're just little mistakes. Don't worry about it. I can still catch up to the time limit. As long as I don't die, I can still get an S rank. It makes the game really easy. For a second, I thought I'd go backwards, but I was like, oh, there's nothing over there. Oh, I think it's like achievement in this game where you play this specific act without touching the water. And that's possible because Sonic can run on water when he's boosted. Oh, forgot that. All right, can I get that? Yep, I can. Oh, made it. Barely ran out of boost, but I'm done. Wow, that's probably my best 
first run in a long time for Chemical Plant Act 2. plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. And that pink water makes me really nervous for some reason. You're right, Tails. This place has given me deja vu all over again. I'm so psyched, I get to hang out with you. Sonic, come talk to me anytime. No, thank you. Now see, I'm allowed to skip the hints because I've already played this game and I know how it works. Next up is Sky Sanctuary. Now, I believe Sky Sanctuary is underrated in Sonic Generations. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this specific stage. Because uh, it's overshadowed by, um, obviously, State Escape. It's a lot of people's favorite. Not only level like design-wise, but also, well, specifically in Sonic Generations, level design is really good for State Escape. Especially for Modern Sonic. And I didn't make it. Yep, that happens most of the time. Oh, don't fall! Oh, shit. Yep, that happened. I probably won't be able to get an S rank anymore. Now this one requires a lot of platforming, so it's not that easy. At first, not that easy. Where am I going? I rarely take this route, so I'm not sure where I'm going. I guess like some sort of shortcut? Gotta run and start. Oh, wow, I could have fallen off. Oh, I did fall off. Can't go up there, so I'll have to go down here. Clouds. Oh, I saw those three red star rings depending where you go. 
So in this level, you really have to, like, think where you're going on the different routes. Yep, no S, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm okay with not having a perfect playthrough. I'm not getting all collectibles or anything like that. Now the modern iteration. God, like, everything's so good about Modern Sonic. Like, the level design, the music, remix. Just, the, it, Sonic controls really well this way. Not sure how they messed it up with Sonic Forces. Here we go, the fun bits. Oh no! Okay, almost died there. Again, I'm not trying to do a perfect playthrough, just try my best. With the best of my knowledge of this game. Okay. I like how open this level is. Like, there's a lot of routes to take. Uh oh. Can I make it? Oh, sh uh, wrong way. I did not make it. That's okay. That's completely fine. That was a weird perspective. Boom. Boom. This part is cool where you go around again, but as Martin Sonic, it's faster because it's boost. Did I die that time, which means I get an S. Thanks for the help. Not that I needed it, but it's good to have my sanctuary back. Why haven't they brought back the sanctuary? Like, it didn't disappear. It's still there, right? What is this place? It's so white and creepy. I've never seen anything like it. And then this is where they introduce challenges, which they're not bad. It's just that I prefer doing the, the double ganger because you pretty much just go through the level again. But, you know, since... They're pretty short levels. I don't mind doing it again. 
I would have loved if they added a classic and modern rendition of these rivals. Like, imagine Modern Sonic going up against Modern Metal Sonic. When I was playing Sonic CD from Sonic Origins, I was doing the Starlight, the the Speedway Starlight. What's it called again? It was basically the race with um, Metal Sonic, and I was playing the U.S. version. The game was playing the U.S. version of the music, and the whole time I was thinking about this song, this specific song that's playing, because I like this song. I believe this song is like the Japanese version of the of the level, the act. The zone. Starlight Speedway, that's what it's called. Man, Metal Sonic got weaker. Oh, there he goes, powering up. And he's dead. Wow, kicked the shit out of him. And I got an S. Sucks how short that was. Give me my emerald, please. You gotta kiss emerald. Legend says collecting all seven will cause a mysterious power to emerge. That is what I'm hoping for. You collected all boss gate keys, use them to unlock the boss gate. Hear the music? Pretty nostalgic, huh? Well, it's nostalgic for me because I just played Sonic Origins, so I recognize music. Wait, what's the song you mean there? Because I remember some music being changed and switched around. So I don't even know if this song was in Origins. I really like this fight because it really shows how big the Death Egg robot was compared to the first game. Like in Sonic the Hedgehog 1, it was a lot smaller because they had to fit it on the screen.
The music gets more upbeat, and then you have like a different way of fighting him here. It's completely different this time, which is cool. I like how they change it up a little bit. Dang it. Give me a sec. Gotcha. Bonk on the head. Dang, you got me. Got you right back. Bonk number two. And that's it. I can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Doubles of us? Places and enemies from our past? We're, We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time and space. space! How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped your friends. Uh, I mean, our friends. You know what I mean. Got a Chaos Emerald. I got two out of seven. All right, so I'm gonna end right there. Looks like a good place. And in the next video, I will do the next three levels. See you then. Bye.